with us now in the studio is John Hassler, and he has saved me more than a few times when I've had computer issues. Welcome to the show, how are you? I'm very good, Donna, how are you today? Good, and what's the official name of your company? Because when you help me, it's just like, I call John. But like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for calling us. What's your business name? Uh, the business name is 2000 Computer Solutions. Okay, and when did you start your company? In 1998. And you're not just a computer repair guy. Uh, what is it that your company features? Well, that's, that's correct. We're not just a computer repair company. What we really are, uh, we're considered solution providers, technology consultants. And uh, our primary focus for our clients is to keep them out of trouble. So we would rather have less and less repairs and focus more on keeping our clients' client systems up and running. Okay, so almost like a wellness. You're like a wellness physician, if you will, for somebody's mainframe and for the, pe the pieces of integrated equipment that goes into running a company. That's correct. And you just made Mrs. Hassler, my mother, very happy because now I'm a doctor. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Dr. John. Dr. John is in the house. Uh, well, in all seriousness, I mean, I just have to share with my audience what happened. We were on a, on a major, major deadline, and my whole computer wouldn't even turn on. And so we took the computer to John and uh, you made it work and you you were phenomenal and a lot of times people do have emergency situations so you're there to maintain everything so that you, they don't have an emergency but what happens when they do do you answer your phone 24 7 well we don't answer our phones 24 7 uh, the way we can help our clients when problems happen you know just about anything that's mechanical or has electric running through it is gonna fail at some point in time uh, the secret to my success, and it's no secret, is really my staff. Okay. I have a very talented staff. Um, they're well educated. Uh, they're very personable, and and I like to think that we really listen to our clients and our customers. Uh, when we see something new that's out there that might benefit them, we'll mention it. Uh, many times, our clients come back to us and say, "Hey, I was at this trade show, John, and we just saw this, and this looks phenomenal." Okay, and we'll take a look at it. We'll do a little bit of research, um, and if it's gonna be something that would be effective for them, make them more efficient, more productive, make them money in the long run, then it would be a home run for all. Now, I know Grace Hopper is, uh, she coined the phrase uh, bug, computer bug, you yeah. know, because she found the bug in the bug, computer, right? right. Yeah. Um, do things like that still happen when it, sometimes it's a so simple solution, but people are like completely down for the day? That's true, it, and it, it, it happens, and it still happens today. Um, everything from a silly computer virus or malware, you would get these pop-ups when we're you know, online, to actual problems in the, the programming code. Um, and I'm not picking on any one, one uh, product in particular, but let's say I'll just pick Microsoft Office for, Office, for example, very widely used product. But if you think about it, they're, they're putting um, a utility program out to the masses. So ev just about everybody's gonna use that product a little bit differently. So they, although they try to think of every little way that each different individual and business will use it, it's going to be, you're, ba you're bound to run into an issue, in an issue where um, something just doesn't work the way you plan it. Right, that point percentage, right? It could be like 99.9% .9 right. awesome. It's that one tiny little thing that could, you know, really cause that's, havoc. That's true. And, and, you know, in our industry, you hear a lot about uh, where they guarantee 99.995% uptime. But if you actually figure it out and if you divide it by 365 days, I forget how many hours it is or days even, you know, I should, I should have actually figured that out before I said that. <laughs> but it is substantial. So, um, so, for example, if an internet provider says we have 99.999 and if you're out during business day for eight hours, well, that's a problem. You know, so you want to kind of think if you have a business where you need to be up and running and you have customers and clients that are waiting for this information or you, you have to take receipts at a restaurant, for example, you want to try to work in some way that you have um, like a life raft or a spare tire. In our, in our industry, we call that redundancy. You work with clients that are both small and large, but some of the majorly privately held real estate companies are your client. So you, you kind of specialize, and um, I guess what you do is sizable. You know, certain people have certain needs, so you customize their computer solutions for them. That is correct, right? We're our probably our core vertical market is uh, the real estate and development industry. Uh, we have clients that have holdings uh, all across the country, and they're they they are privately held companies. They're people like you and I. That they're wonderful people, and uh, but you know at the end of the day, they're responsible for maintaining buildings that that affect thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. Whether they be office buildings where people need to go to work so they can earn their paycheck. 
right? Or when they come home at night where they have to live. So, so our clients have properties that are either in commercial, residential, uh, industrial, like, the, like, like other neighborhoods around the, and across Long Island. So it does vary, and they are different sizes. I mean, uh, through the years, we've actually uh, split off. We, we help accounting firms. We, uh, we have been doing a lot of work in the, in the medical field now. You know, we hear all about these compliances like, uh, like HIPAA, for example, where it's all about your privacy. You know, online privacy, uh, identity theft, that's all a big issue. And that's some of the things that every one of us, whether we're, we're working or we're just a stay-at-home person, we're retired, you just really want to be careful, you know, what you're doing when you're online. So it's important that somebody goes to you also because uh, it's, you, you're working locally, you're right there, you know, you, you provide excellent service as opposed to somebody that's maybe outsourcing. You know, like if they need you, you're there for them. That, that's correct. I mean, there, there's a lot of companies that, that do what I do just right here in this New York metropolitan area. And for the most part, they're, they're all good. You know, but like anything, there's not always the perfect fit. You know, you might not like the personality of one over another. So, so that's fine. And as I often tell people when I meet them, you know, if you're happy with the people you're working with and they're listening to you, stay. There's no reason to come to us. But if you are having some communications issues where you're just not getting uh, the level of service that you, that you deserve, you know, then give us a call and we'll see if we can help you out. Well, great. Thank you for visiting with me once again. Thank you for saving me many, many times over. <laughs> I have a pleasure. Uh, and uh, if you need computer help, uh, you could go to their website or you could always find out more about John and his wonderful company at liveituptvshow.com.